You guys asked for it and I'm gonna give it to you. This is the cheapest guitar on eBay. I recently put out a video called The Cheapest Guitar on Amazon and loads of you guys commented that you guys wanted to know what the cheapest guitar on eBay was and also what the cheapest bass is on eBay and Amazon and the cheapest overdrive pedal, all sorts of things. There are a few requirements that I also used for the last video. First, the guitar has to be full scale. No kids guitars and no tiny micro guitars because that would bring down the price point. A lot of you guys are sending me links to even more inexpensive guitars, but they were not full scale. They were three quarter length or something like that. Full scale and electric guitar and the guitar has to be new, not a used guitar. So naturally, a lot of the things that I came across were starter student packages and things like that. This guitar that I found on eBay is called new beginner electric guitar with package case straps, strap, picks, tuner, starter pack, USA. And the guitars, depending on the finish and options, range from $25 to $54.99. And this one that was actually in stock, one of the last ones in stock, is $54.99. Now, let's read the description, shall we? Electronic guitar features, 100% brand new and high quality. It's key there. Get rocking with this beginner electric guitar package from Pile Pro. Okay, so now we have a brand. It comes with everything you need to get started. At the center of this kit is a double cutaway solid body guitar constructed from the highest quality wood materials. Basswood for the body, rosewood for the fretboard, and maplewood for the neck, all of which contribute to the guitar's signature rich and clear tone. We're gonna see about that. When I bought this, I actually didn't know it was quote unquote real wood. I expected plywood or something like that for $54. So. Let's open this thing up, shall we? Ah, slices. Safety first. Here's a, an incredibly flimsy strap and two picks. 54 bucks, hey? Some, I, I believe this is the gig bag, although it seems like an incredibly small, an incredibly small gig bag. There's that smell. It smells like bad. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, thank God. It came with a cable. I really needed a cable. And, oh, and a whammy bar too. Cable and a whammy bar. Remember what I was saying? All right, incredibly light. Not shocking at all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. Still covered in wood chips from the factory. Amazing. Iron. This is an iron guitar. It means high quality in some kind of language. Okay, so let's give it the test, see if it's in tune. Yep, here's the back. Now, this is incredibly light. Also, uh, this brand new out of the package, I don't know if you can see that, there are two pretty large gouges in the body. Uh, that have been finished over. I'm really shocked that the craftsmanship isn't super, super high quality. Uh, the wood seems to be one piece of something. I don't think this is maple. The action is, I would say only a quarter mile high this time. Uh, the last guitar, which is actually right here, this one is quite high, but the difference is $54, $75. I would say this is the nicer guitar from Amazon than eBay, but let's do a sound test, shall we? Now I'm gonna tune this up, but a lot of you guys didn't like the fact that I did like a full produced mix of the guitar. You guys wanted just raw sound samples. So that's what I'm gonna do this time. I'm gonna plug again directly into my Mesa Boogie JP2C. $2,000 amp, I know, but it's for science, so we have to hear how it sounds through an expensive amp. After that, we will come back and then we will talk about the results, which we scientifically found. Let's do it.
overall for $54, I don't think it's that bad. Although, honestly, for the sound and like how this feels, I mean, this doesn't, this feels like one of those uh, guitars that you win at the carnival. It's, it's, it's kind of like that. Um, I would much prefer the $75 guitar I got off of Amazon, food for thought. But uh, yeah, overall, I would say this guitar sucks. I'll put the links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been fluffed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.